And that's why we're here for Dust 2, a culmination of G2 and Vitality going at it. And it's taken us all the way to three maps. Now, November 9th, 2000, that's Saibu's birthday. That's also the day that the CS mod was released for Half-Life. Coincidence? I think not. Well, let's find out if the golden boy of Vitality is here for a reason or if he's not going to be here for any more matches. Those are the options here in this lower bracket matchup between G2 and Vitality fighting for a spot to take on the loser of Phase Astralis. That will be our game of the day coming up later. But right now, this is looking like quite the matchup here in the third map. Two 30 rounders, two 16-14s, each team winning their opposing team's map pick. And now, where it all comes to a close on Dust. Yeah, first point of contact in this round is going to be old mate Jax over here towards the catwalk. And that nade, ouch. And he's going to leave. And probably justifiably so. I wouldn't feel too good about getting naded there either. He drops on down and takes up this position at long. G2, they've spotted players in middle. They've seen players in lower tunnels. So they're gonna take this time to group up as three and start to pressure this long side of the map. They peeked it together and now they send in Jax alone. This is an attempt at an information grab and a chance to come in on this flank. However, Vitality are looking to hit this B, B site and they just might get in and Ooh. get it over and done with before the info, before the flank, before any of that is useful to G2. Yeah, two immediate openers from RPK and through the tunnels, and that's going to be the site taken. He's even set up for the post bomb, but he's missed a couple of shots. Doesn't really matter because they can't push B until they've cleaned him out. So Hunter has to chase him down, and he will. Apex giving away his position. He needs support towards a site if he wants to fight these tunnel players. And in comes the swing from Shocks and Apex. Everyone getting a kill there in the post plant, and Vitality will pick up the pistol. They did pick the T side after all, so wanting to set the pace coming into this game. Yeah, and look how they're forcing the, the players that play B to fight right there. It's just such an awkward thing to have happened, right? Now, people always talk about, what if we reverse the doors? Well, I guess we'll never really know, will we? Hopefully one day, Trace. Yeah, perhaps one day. In the meantime, it's Vitality picking up the first round. Zaiwu already has his first scoped weapon of the game. What could that spell for G2? Who knows? Better yet, what is Ocelot saying about that last map? Now, that's something I would like to know. Ocelot, if you can hear me, HMU. Well, you've shot your shot. You've shooted your shot. I shoot it now. Yep, shoot it, of course. And now Team Vitality going to try and shoot theirs over here towards this A bomb site. They grab catwalk control, they've got it in the pocket. Already G2, sneaking, All right, right past the camera. Oh, they never get this close. Ooh, look, another one. Felt real personal. Though, it did. It's like a nature oh, documentary. A you never get them this close in the wild. They're but going G2, back into a B. Yeah, they, uh, they've fallen for this hook, line, and sinker. Catwalk control taken. It was all a ruse designed to bait the rotations. And you know what it's done a great job of? Baiting the rotations. Everyone's at A. B site. Hello. That's where the bomb's going down. And G2 are nowhere near it. They fell for this catwalk play. They tried to get one step ahead, and it's left them two steps behind in this round. They do spot a man down here in mid. That there is shocks. Might have heard of him. He's going to try and hold on to the lower tunnels, but Nexa. Does delete him. Bomb still down, ticking away. Not a worry for Vitality. They're going to try and mop these players up. And if you're G2, you haven't even attempted this round. You haven't even given it a go. So you do want to hold on to these weapons. You don't want players to be going down as this bomb goes off. Yeah, Hunter with head armor as well. You can negate the fact that he has the CZ. I mean, at, at that point, it's just the head armor into the next round. That's going to be valuable. So he holds on to it and his CZ in spawn. And we see a second for Vitality, that ever important conversion round going their way. Yeah, ultimately, this save for G2 doesn't make too much difference as it's still an eco here anyway. And they had just pistols except for Hunter with the armor. So another eco and a bit of a breather as they let Vitality go 3 0 up. Obviously, G2 would like to win the round, but they can't really gamble on it they are going to gamble though towards b with four players a smoke from jacks going in towards long late but at this point vitality already out and about in that position this b stack might need to be deconstructed 
Jax is going to make that call once he sees enough players. There's a spot. He's got to flash the fight on the corner. He can pop it and go back in for more. But with only one flash, he's not in a rush to use it either. Watching the catwalk where Vitality have no one sat there on a five long setup. With G2 seeing nothing elsewhere, they might consider at least stacking A or getting aggressive and trying to trap these players in long. Said it's going to be a full CT rotation. They're setting up for uh, some kind of heavy peak, like a three or four man peak. But if the smokes come down, that'll completely negate these positions. And there's not a lot G2 can do. It's a CT smoke. So actually, they can fight in front of it if they want, which they don't. So they play inside of the spawn, but they let Vitality cross to the side. Okay. Oh. All right, Kenny. Yep. Come on then. Give us a few more. You've already done Next, that. Sir. Next, sir. Uh, I kind of love the confidence, yeah. mate, but we got this, guys. Uh, I'm running in. I'm going to get them all. They're all in this. Oh, wait. They're, all they're, they're actually long, guys. I've really dropped the ball on this one. Only had a USP, Ooh. so it's not the end of the world. Can the Eagles of Kenny S and Jax do anything? Jax here, 1v3. Now, one of these players is very, very low. Unfortunately for him, Shox was not the guy in question. And it's a team vitality. They get the pistol round. They get the conversions. I think it's important to note as well that G2, they won all the pistol rounds back on Nuke. But since then, every pistol thus far has been won by vitality. They took both on Vertigo. They take the first one here on Dust. And they're not keen on letting G2 get these forced by victories in either. They've been able to find these conversions time after time. And now thinking back to how close these games are, right? These 16-14s across both maps currently. These pistols have even more weight, right? They, they really are impactful. So these three bonus rounds at the start of the game for Vitality have set them up very well. Can they continue in the same standard here with a rifle round? Apex is going to try and escape long. Good bit of utility. He uses every bit, but he does get out alive. Kenny is going to fight for his life on long. Ooh. Quick shots responded on by Zai Wu with the scout. He's going to find the headshot and allow the plant to come through. Now, G2 still have long. Apex uh, gave that up earlier, so Ooh. Vitality know about it, Ooh. and they are fighting tooth and nail for it. Don't, don't peek back into this. Please don't feed Zai Wu. Back of the site with the scout. Trying to lay down the pain, but they're up through CT. Shock's going to hold down the angle, and he does. Combine along with RPK, Zai Wu's taking the head off of another. It's a two-on-two. -two. Still a doable round for the side of G2, as now it's only RPK left, but with no kits, there's not enough time for G2, no matter how much they, they try. No matter the fact that they get that kill, it is a round that falls in favor of Team Vitality. Four on the board now, despite everybody falling, as they ran a bonus round there. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, Nexus is going to salvage that AWP. He's going to drop it over to Kenny's hands, but four in a row for Vitality. Starting to feel pretty good. I'm sure of it. Yeah, but the save as well for G2, right? At least they get away with guns. It's going to tempt the reinvestment here. They actually save somewhat, and I like that, right? Because I don't want to spend every single buck on what will essentially not be a full buy, even with those guns held. So they still have a chance to win this round, but they also will be able to buy if in the case that it doesn't go their way. Apex again is out long, flashing himself for the fight, but G2 are not uh, giving him anything here. They're playing safe and playing up on the catwalk. Double boost in middle. This is a B play for Vitality, though. Just one man here, and it's the worst gun in the round here for G2. It's a solo 5-7. Amanek, he gets a kill, though. Can he double it? No. So much damage done. If he found a second there, he would have set his team up well. Instead, it's still a doable round, but it's again in a 4-on-4 four with four, a retake of the B site. Not a pretty picture. Hunter has to be careful in the tunnels. There's a man coming in from T-Spawn. Apex is late from long, and Hunter's going to check it, but he won't get away with the kill, and Apex just stalls it out with a Molotov. Hunter pushes Whoa. through to his death, and G2 with that kill they realize this one isn't working there are getting out of there and yeah, mazuda actually playing with fire on 15 hp Ooh. made a little sweaty there for everybody doesn't matter that's right that fifth round on the board for vitality and you said it hugo you said they were going to look good on this map and they damn sure do so far that t-sided start Nexa being a nuisance here in the tunnels caused quite a bit of damage they want to cross Looks like they shouldn't have a problem now with the rest of the weapons, at least. Shocks on one HP, narrowly escaping death. Yeah, for Vitality, they're on a four win streak on this map over the likes of Fnatic, Dig, Heretics, and Godsent. Well, for Vitality, or for G2, rather, three loss streak, but 
I mean, just even in general, their, their history page on this map is, is mostly red. Uh, they have a lot of competitive games, a lot of overtimes, a lot of 30 rounders, but also a lot of losses in that. So yeah, not the best track record for G2, although it is their second most played map. So they at least have the, uh, the ideas and the game plan. Let's just see if they can turn them into rounds here. Vitality don't want to let it be easy though. Zaiwu fast out long with a quick kill on Nexa. Mizu's just not going to commit through that smoke. No need when Vitality have the advantage. Of course not. Don't need to overextend yourself. Jack's looking to provide some backup for his buddy and Kenny, who has AWP on catwalk. And what a fight Omanek has chosen Ooh. to take and win on top of that. Considerably damage on his exit. But the damage has been done, and now Vitality turned their sights towards B. Oh no, it's been lost. Oh, Shanks is here, but the flashes have kept him at wow. bay and allows Amanek to move in for the kill. Team Vitality, do they want to commit to this? Because G2 are very aware of this B play, but wow. okay, Zaiwu and Masuta, they've made it doable, they made it possible. Whoa. Kenny fighting in the molly, and he lands that shot onto Zaiwu. Wow. Now Masuta left in the clutch, Kenny hiding on the other side of this smoke, he's delivered an incredible shot to kickstart this round for Bye -bye. G2, and it gets ended by Jax on this flank. What a shot, that was nuts. I'm sure we're going to be seeing that one again. That was impressive, to say the least. The Molotov's burning his feet. And just the, the fadeaway, almost, Yeah, call it's it. so huge for Kenny, because after they kill Shox inside of B, they think that Vitality maybe aren't going to commit. Like Harry said, it seemed like a, a kind of crazy decision there, but it's all Vitality had. They actually left long, rotated all the way around through spawn to B. They had to go. And so Kenny peels off, and Vitality take the site with a double entry. Kenny, he's running right back. He's on a fadeaway kill uh, through the window, like you said. So nice stuff from him, but in this one, it's a bit of a barbecue. It's a bit of a, uh, a mess as Apex burns to his death after a long entry alongside Shocks, Jax gets two post-death as well, essentially. Hunter's pushed mid, and this is a round that's all over the place. Oh, Mizuta looks away, but he gets shot at. He gets the info. Amanek is going to run B to defend that site, and they already have a flank in place. So they don't need to worry. It's being held, though. Zaiwu's ready for it, and Hunter is going to give him the beans. Mizuta coming in from lower, stealing the kill away, and now Vitality back in the lead. Cool shots the round prior, but it's Vitality who are about to meet up with Amanek in the tunnels. He's elected to go for a more forward position here. Trying to get that Ooh. intel, and that's going to prove to be a fatal decision at that. So now three members remaining for Vitality. Kenny will likely save this off if he doesn't get a kill here. He's going to have a vision on the cross. You can imagine that that's not going to go unsmoked. There it is. There's the smoke. Kenny takes the shot. And that is the round. Six for Vitality. I'm just hoping that we get to see that Kenny flick again. That was, that was cool. Let's be honest. Let's be real with each other. Yeah, I mean, you know, is it me or is like Zai Wu just a bit of a boring player? Like, you know, you see at the end of a map, he'll have like 30, 40 kills. Don't remember a single one of them. No. But the Kenny S flick, man, I, I remember, remember the Kenny S flick. Now, that could be true for this series, and that might be the only memory of Kenny S that we're going to have here at the road to Rio. If this map does not go their way after two 16 14s, it's team vitality leading dominantly here on dust two. G2 seemingly no answers to the questions that team vitality are posing right now. And these, you know, long executes early on with attention over towards A, falling back, playing this B-bomb site later in the round has been working brilliantly for Team Vitality. And Zai Wu, he's been a big factor here for Vitality, not just in this map, but at the end of Vertigo alone. He was, uh, you know, just going about his business. Not a quiet game, not a top fragging game by any means. And then Vitality start to slip on the T side of Vertigo right by the end. And Zai Wu, he just comes up with these back-to-back -back entry rounds on the A site, double opening kills to essentially win the game for Vitality. Without them, probably wouldn't have happened. So Zai Wu, credit where credit is due. And he's brought that you know power, that ferocity into this map as well. But what is it about... And I feel like he gets away with this from time to time. Yeah. And more often than not, it's like Zai Wu somehow the game gets so close that, hey, you know what, I'm going to take this in my own hands. Then he gets so aggressive, hyper aggressive even, and finds the necessary frags. It's crazy. We'll even see him doing it on T-side Inferno, which is wild to consider if you think about taking B. Meanwhile, taking B in this round is going to be a bit rough. Oh, Nate's coming no. through. 
Molotov as well What's next up. Oh my god. This happening? has been a melting ah. pot of players over here on this ah. site. Someone die. Kill him. Somebody, please. Kill him. Put Mazuda out of his misery. Oh, yes, my goodness. Nice there. G2, they get that one under control. Everything was nice and smooth. Went exactly according <sighs> to plan. And uh, that's the second round on the board for G2. A sick 4K from Amanek, man. Look at this. <laughs> two, one, two, <laughs> three. And, well, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a break if we're running this one yeah, in slow-mo. Yeah, the whole time, slow-mo, <laughs> three minutes later, three rounds have gone by, but Amanek did get the fourth man <laughs> as well. Fortunately, one of them was his teammates, but uh, we will forget about that one as quickly as it comes. Vitality, they drop around there. Running through a Molotov maybe wasn't the play. Didn't need to do that. It's not like they're, they're losing or anything. They were in full control, but that, it goes both ways, right? Like, the, you know, you think you can get away with things you can't when you're doing so well. You're like, guys, let's just hit this molly. Let's just, let's just, uh, you smoke it and run into B. Why not? Well, why not? Because G2 are on the other side and they ain't letting you get away with that. So Vitality at least denied that audacious B push. And they've got to go elsewhere in this round. Losing Apex early to Jax. Very good at opening kills. T side, CT side, doesn't really matter. He's there. Vitality setting up for a cat take in this one versus the AWP of Kenny. Oh, they're already up past Cat Kenny. Has to deliver a lot Ooh. here. Lands the tag onto RPK, but not the killing blow. Kenny now has to double dip. He has to go back in again. And Hunter flashed in for the peak, gets bested by Zaiwu. Kenny caught by shocks on the catwalk. And this round has fallen apart once again for the G2 side. Amanek and Nexa left in this two on four. And it might have to be another gut-wrenching save call to have to make. Seven now on the board for Vitality. They abandon the B site. They go back to A. They still play a very, very fast round. And they best G2 at every turn. Now, I hear some typing going on. That is either a bit of casual, friendly banter in the server, or someone's asking for HP. Or the third option could be a tech pause. Really have... You know, kind of got to the bottom of the options there, Harry. And yeah, provided everyone. It's never anything other than those three. So we're going to have to wait and see. It's not a pause. It's not like, you know, my macaroni and cheese is ready. I got to call a timeout, guys. It's nothing <laughs> like that. So probably a little bit of something, some Keck Ws or something mild in there. Nothing too major. For the time being, Vitality running the board. Just barely gripping that A site. Just getting torn apart. To back in with the purchase, though. Jax doesn't have armor despite having $2,000 spare. So, certainly not what you want if you're G2. But let's see if it comes into play here. He is playing, like, maybe it was purpose, right? Look at his position. Oh, no, okay, maybe not. I thought he was playing the headshot angle and pit. Maybe if he was. But, you know, you can't, you can't play on the contingency of, oh, you know, if they come to my position, then it doesn't matter because, well, they haven't come to your position, so it will matter. That lack of armor could have consequences later in the round as Vitality try and fake out this A-cat play. They've done a very good job. They pushed the AWP back and they've kept three on this A site. Now they're going to drop mid and hit this B play. Maybe with one lurk out mid in the form of shocks. They're just going for contact or a smoke. They haven't checked the corner though. Nexa will get checked. Mizuta with a big entry. Amanek has to flash through. He has to do something. And it's only good enough for one. Trade is in. Bomb plant for fa uh, found. And shocks killing the lurk because he's not letting anyone survive this round. Jax in a one on four. Bit of a busted one. <laughs> and he's just probably stood there with his knife out asking, uh, what happened, guys? <laughs> you were all with me just a few seconds ago. Well, shocks happened. And an eight from the board for Vitality. This is not going any better for G2. Aim Jax will be the last to fall. Yeah, maybe he wins that fight. You never know. Because the first bullet that hits him sets his crosshair off. Big check from Mizuta. He's been really, really good in this game as well. Uh, in a three on three, found a really nice double kill in the tunnels the other round, giving Vitality access to that B bomb site. And they've been all over it. The entry right there, checking Nexa, who could have potentially gotten away with two or three kills from the corner, considering he wasn't checked initially on the first man. So Mizuta, big check and a big round of Vitality. 8-2. G2's money swept out from below them once again. 
relying on saves and well they don't get away with any in that round that's shocks lurking i thought he was going to come out mid and join vitality but considering how quickly they got those two b entries at the cost of only one man he could just go up catwalk and kill g2 as they make the choice to save so no survivors here for vitality they won't let you get away with your guns now you'll note that super series on sunday that eu grand final for the road to rio make sure you save the date Put that date in your calendar and the time. Time is ultimately important too. Let's see whose time it is in this round. This time, love uh, long is going to get some love, is what I meant to say, but I did say those words the wrong way round. Love is going to get long. Love getting long and long getting love, but aren't you too long for this world? Because they're not loving life right now in this map. Jack's holding on to the long corner, and he does have this deagle. Nice little angle for it. Chips away at the first man. Masuta has been removed. RPK was deleted down in the lower tunnels as well. So maybe G2 are trying to surprise us here with this force buy. They've certainly Ooh. surprised Team Vitality. However, they finally deal with Jax down in the pit. Kenny now trying to play around this smoke, looking to catch the timing as they try and fall what? back. But with Apex providing a kill onto the A bomb site, they decide to recommit into A. And that could not be more poorly timed for the G2 side. Apex on a tear. And is it just a save again for G2? I mean, at this point, A2 down with one gun. Like, if you're next, you may as well go for it, right? Like, at least try and see if Vitality give you a way back in. Because at this point, can't say forever if you're G2. This T-side is slipping away. Next, are mollied off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can you do? Like, Apex doubles ent double entries. The smoke fades and Molly takes its place. Now, Nexa, he has a one on three to find or just a save. He's going to give it a look. He's going to give it a go. That's why some damage, but yeah, without an immediate kill, Vitality know where he is. Oh, look, they mollied him again. That's Zaiwu, I think, on Long through that. He throws another one from Long on Catwalk. Zaiwu double mollies Cat from Long. That's just silly. Leave him alone, Zaiwu. What a legend. This is a scary looking Zaiwu as well. Like, yeah. he is. He's just dominating with whatever they're giving him. And a lot of the time on the T side now, he's been on this rifle throughout the majority of this series, electing to take it over the AWP in a lot of these situations. Now he's back on it here. I'm looking for this mid pick, not able to catch a player crossing. Team Vitality gonna get an early man down through the catwalk. That's our PK, but he's got the rest of the team in tow behind him. And Apex is out long. He's in the back line. Now he's in the front line. Funny how that works, but he's completely removed the G2 oh, presence no. here. Hunter just about wins that fight out, but is that going to be enough for G2 to go off of? Apex has actually fallen no. back out through the long doors. And G2 have just got to save. They've given it up already. I want to know how Apex was able to get so deep long and just cause all that <laughs> havoc. Because I, I was watching the cat play, and then I look at the minimap, and I'm like, oh... <laughs> Apex is there. Okay, well, Kenny's got... Oh, no, Kenny's dead. Oh, the other guy's dead. Right. The round is over. And it's all on the back of Apex just running the gauntlet. And as soon as he appears, he disappears. He's back to his antics in top mid. He was going to come in on a cat flank once Vitality planted to stop G2 from, from retaking. But G2 don't want to retake. They're fine to give away the round. And Apex goes, okay, I'll save two. And he will. Ten rounds for Vitality. And three guns save for G2. It's a short-term gain, but long-term pain as Vitality don't let up. A chronic pain, even. It ain't going away. They're getting smoked, Trace. You are correct. Easy for Vitality thus far. I mean, at least in this map, right? That's a crazy thing. This has been such a competitive series. And to be fair, we've had like one-sided starts. We've had 10, five halves, but both maps so far, 30 rounds each a piece. So don't be surprised if this does close up, but in order for that to happen, G2 need something at the end of this half. They need three, they need four, they need five. They need not two, basically. So 
Let's see if they can find a bit of salvation here in some of these rounds. Kenny trying to get stuck in at catwalk and mm. Hunter is the man to step up to the mark, delivering a double, making this round doable for G2. Shocks and RPK. It's been a long while since they've had to recuperate a man deficit. And they're not very well adjusted to this situation. It shocks all alone. And this is unfamiliar territory. Over towards catwalk he goes. G2 leaning very, very heavily over towards the B-bomb site, which is a ballsy decision to make considering Amanek and Nexa have both pushed the B-tunnels and have the info that this side of the map is clear. Jax is going to move off and hold long, but all the while this is going on, Hunter is holding on to mid, and I don't know if they're aware that Jax was... Oh, sorry, Shox was already up the catwalk. This is going to give him a bomb plant at the very, yeah. very least. Now, it's a 1v4. Like, these are overwhelming odds stacked against shocks. But I have a certain memory of this man in the A-bomb site yeah. on Dust2 yeah. in this same situation uh -huh. causing some problems. But that's the only memory we're going to have of that. Shocks in this round, that's the alternative to how the 1v4 yeah. could have played out that time when it did. He didn't have the AWP this time, you know. That, no. was, that was clearly the, the difference maker. That was pretty nice then. Yeah. This, on the other hand, on the bomb plant, won't really do a whole lot considering where Vitality currently seat themselves. But five would go a long way for G2 if they can close the half with it. We are almost there, round number 14. Hunter, big plays here in middle. Big shots. We're off. 10-3, yeah, last two rounds of the half. G2, they salvaged something. We said they needed a bit of a recovery right at the end, but Vitality, do they want to let their foot off of their neck? We'll see. They gave them a third, or more like Hunter took a third. And now Vitality go back towards a cat. Take five alive, five here, ready to commit as a unit. Kenny's got the orb, oh but boy. how much info is he going to get? The smoke is down, the grenade is good, but the flashes will follow, and Kenny's missed his opening shot. Going back in for more, they could line up, but they are darting wide, taking him down and winning the fight. Hunter can only get one, and Jax is stuck on long in this position. The Molotov denies his re-entry to the ramp, and Vitality are going to swing and take the fight. Jax, another one, but it is only one, and Vitality have done a great job of trading their way to a win, but it's not over yet. Yeah, Nexa and Amanek up from CT, sneaking into the front line. Zai Wu holding it down, and he has been what? spotted. Gets dealt with. Shocks and Apex, the two low HP players, trying to hold on, and they can't do it. G2, they're going to put a fourth round on the board. Still a chance to make this one competitive for the G2 side. A bomb plant there, at the very, very least, is going to leave Vitality with all the money in the world, combined with the fact that they were already looking pretty well off, unsurprisingly, on the back of this huge lead. I do like the decision from Vitality. When they hear Jax giving away his position close long, they just swarm him with the four players in the site. They know that there's probably only one guy long. And if he's that close, you know, there's two ways you can play it. If the guy is like backed off long, setting up for the retake, usually you just let him have that. But when he's that close, when he's in the front line, if you isolate that one engagement, you can keep it in your favor. And I thought that was going to be a Vitality round past that point. However, <gasps> It didn't what? count on some of the individuals no, that we had showing up. Now, that's an interesting one. Masuta able to dodge the bullet, flashed in by Zaiwu, and now looking to carve a path into A. It's Jax trying to hold, having a run through the molly. Whoa. Hunter's wrapped up catwalk, but Shox is quick in with the trade. RPK holding the lower tunnels. He gets flashed and mopped up. It's a 3v2 retake at the A side of the map. Vitality, they've got another chance at this A plant, but this time around, are things going to fare any better? Ooh. Oh dear, Zywu could have got a collat there. He gets one. Shocks might win the AWP here. He's on four HP. We could see another vintage Shocks AWP clutch, but do they want to risk swapping out the weapons in the two on two? Doesn't look like it. Missed shot on long. Zywu's got to hit the next because Amanek is speeding into position. Zywu finds him and leaves Nexa alone, getting the trade and into the one on one. The grenade, the molly. It should win the round and the bullets will do it for him. It's five found at the end of the half here for G2. Oh. They have the smoke, they have the kit. It's not a worry. Defuse coming through and G2 do exactly what they need to do. Five at the end of the first half and Vitality are looking good. They're looking hot to trot and they're looking ready to 2-1 this series on Dust2. 
G2 on the other side of things did have a couple of recovery rounds at the end of the CT side, and let's not count them out of this comeback here in the second half. Their work's certainly going to be cut out for them. And Vitality now favoured even more so on those GG bet odds. Oh, through the smoke. Shark's landing some damage and kind of scaring Kenny. He was just shooting for the sake of shooting. Didn't really know where he was aiming. <laughs> they try Ooh. and get up onto the catwalk, and that's a big opener from Jax. RPK even dinked in the process. And this pistol round is a necessity for G2. Oh, look at this, though. The fact that they sit a man up right now, already found that dink, has put a lot of pressure on Team Vitality. They're gonna rotate around towards this B site. There are players arriving, but Masuta had to buy time and he wasn't able to do that. One by one, Team Vitality fall and a B plant is found for G2. Yeah, no way you're getting back into this one. RPK's on five health and, well, it'd probably be safer to save the armor, but he's not gonna waste our time. Six rounds for G2, they find the first, set us up for another 30 round map, potentially. We've had 60 so far coming into this third, so why stop here? That's what I've been saying this whole time, Hugo. Why stop here when you can keep going? And that's what we're going to try to find out. Well, Vitality, they want to put a stop to it before it even starts in this second half. Double scout, couple of SMGs. This is a very good buy uh, for a second round investment. Let's see how it does, though. How does it fare? Four, four Mac 10s and a Galil here for G2. Quite the uh, pick and mix. Or will they pick or will they miss this round? That's the question at hand. Apex spamming the doors, but. G2 are molly close to clear out positions. Apex is going to have to fall. As I say, that Hunter doesn't commit with a flashbang. He bails out of it, and Apex goes back in just for a little bit more. Piece of the pie, perhaps. And this could end B, considering the setup's in middle right now, and the bomb is there as well. Taking Catwalk for the time being. It's going to push shocks off. Resmoke, but they're already ahead of it. They're already beating them to the punch. Zywoo scoped up on the A site, and it seems like G2 are going to commit here. Oh, Vitality are pushed up. Yeah, they have a lot of information on the back of that as well. They're going to go ahead and start making their way over. Meanwhile, Apex surely hit a disgusting shot. We didn't quite see it. That's all right. Because this action is being taken, and it's all vitality. Now, oh, no. what that's done is forced G2 to back off Catwalk, and they've ran right into RPK. That's the bomb secured in lower on the stairs. It's just Jackson Hunter need to clean up this mess. Yeah, this is horrible. If you're G2, you can feel this one getting out of hand. You can feel it slipping away from you, and now it's all onto one man. Jack's left up in a one-on-three. Rotations already at B, arriving at the scene at the same time Jax gets out from the tunnels. Apex holding for the cross, and he does get tagged in from CT. There's even a player in window who could deal bye with bye. him. And Jax, yeah, this is probably all said and done. He'll get silenced. Team Vitality, they steal this second round away with the Force Buy. I'm pretty sure this is the first Force Buy victory in these second rounds that we've seen think so. in this series thus far as well. And it's by Vitality no less. When they're already up 10-5, we've been speaking, or 10-6, I guess, yeah. at that point in time. We've already been speaking about the importance of these pistol rounds in the close series and for vitality scary that they've just secured this victory very important one for g2 is 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 definitely the issue there yeah rpk great round right uh he gets uh, mizuta gets killed lower as g2 are executing a and, and they kill him on the push and they go oh nice b's clear that's a b player let's run right back and they go to tunnels but little did they know it was a double upper push that's why vitality went for it they had two players they had a means to get into that position and rpk just stalls him for so long Spam in the smoke. We've got G2 committing to a fast mid to B. Apex trying to molly. He's only got a pistol and a scout. This is not the repertoire, nor the weaponry you want for this kind of position. Mizuta, same story. SMG, not going to be good at a range. Surprise, surprise, the deal is next to dome shocks, leaving Zaiwu to save. Yeah. It all just happened so fast. But the bounce back for G2. Looks like they want to hunt little Zaiwu as well. Look at him. No one's on the bomb. Jack's going to find Zaiwu whether he likes it or not. And there's the final shot put in from Nexa and a Deagle. So they recover the M4 as well. 
Now a chance for G2. Jax can buy up. Should be no problem. Almanac could upgrade if he wanted to, but the reality is the money is too low for Vitality, so they don't necessarily have to. They can keep with these scouts. They can keep with these MP9s. Try to farm themselves some cash for what is an uphill battle currently for G2. Oof. Kenny getting two tags through the door now. He's gonna start Mizuta and Apex off in a sideways kind of way. Yeah, a lot of attention showing at the B tunnels. They try and feign a B rush. Maybe they were gonna commit until that smoke comes in. And at the very, very least, that gained the attention of Vitality and has made them rotate an extra man over towards B. Now Flash is going over into middle. This still doesn't feel like a B play. Even though G2 are really trying to convince us it's a B play, this bomb is still on the back of Nexa. So even though they've shown a foothold in tunnels, they've shown players in mid, they were lining up the smokes and flashes to go for it. It is a B fake with the cap play. Oh, the grenade. Boom. How Ooh. Hunter survives that, I'll never know. It's a fast pace. He actually beats it to the corner because of the back 10. I think if he had a rifle, he wouldn't have been as fortunate. Amanek gets killed in the tunnels here. He trades. He was flashed out, but blinded kill Mazuta. RPK gets the response, but at this point, it's not a B take, it's A. G2 fast up cat and allowed a plant. Vitality, they're on a force. They may as well give this a look in. They may as well give it a go, but the chance of converting, I'd say, is pretty low. Apex coming up from CT. Looking for the jump shot. It's not going to appear. Nothing fighting. But Jax is there on the ramp with one. RPK trades. A pistol finds effect. And now it Ooh. is all just down to Nexa with one. Oh, he's fighting. He's stuck in the open. He has to commit. And he does get the kill. That could have gotten hairy there for G2. I mean, it did. Down to one against a force. But a victory nonetheless. And eight rounds to the 11 of Vitality. G2 are going to start to come back in this game. We knew it would happen. We knew it could happen. Right now, it's happening. Yeah, interesting to note, RPK and Shox both saving extra money. So I think Vitality are looking to bring a double AWP out into this first buy round over on the CT side. It's not terribly uncommon to see Shox and Zaiwu doing that together. Especially not here on the realms of Dust2. This one is one that Vitality are just going to forget about, pretend it never happened, because it is just these vanilla pistols. And Okay. <laughs> right. Sure. Why not? Any more Apex? Nah, that's it. It's the longest of range spray from Omanek. Shoots him with the MAC-10 all the way from CT spawn. So that formality is done and over with. Now we're going to see some real weapons come back out here for Vitality. Did see an op. You can imagine that will end up in Zaiwu's hands. I think he's one of the only licensed people on this side of vitality, or vitality to yield, wield it, even. Maybe even yield, yield it. Yield it, wield it. Hey, you know. World to your oyster, Trace. Or ouster. Oyster. Ouster. I don't know what the word is that you're trying to use, but... I'm swapping the W for... The, the Y for a W, as you did. I'm, I'm punking you, Trace. Oh. Ha-ha. Nice one, Ashton Kutcher. Let's continue on, shall we? Bit of a B play here in this one for G2. Three in the tunnels, hoping for some aggression. Vitality have pushed this position quite a lot, and so G2 are hoping for that again, but won't help if they're flashing their opponents. Vitality is just going to... Oh, God, they're going to go for it. Yeah, right into the setup, right into the AWP. This flash won't work. You assume Kenny, yeah, he only has a tiny gap. It had to fit into that one pixel that he was holding. It's not going to. Fast B play off the back of that kill. Shox is still here. They might not expect a third man, and they don't. The bombs drop, but Shox looks for more. Oh, dear. They wrap. Amanek goes through the door, into middle, out into what the window, and then link. kills him. What a route to the B-bomb site. Hunter even cutting down rotations as Shox was in the first half. This is deja vu. Anything Vitality do, G2 can do as well. And RPK, he looks to save, but they don't want to let him get away with that. This is wild. Yeah. I don't even, like, th th this has happened on every map, and it, it, it's unreal. Like, with, with terrifying consistency, they always get so close. This is why we love these domestic matchups, right? This feels like it's been the story of all of them here at the Road to Rio, and this French, uh, French frenzy is delivering. That noise means a tactical pause has been called on through. You can imagine it's from the Vitality side. 
There was a time where they were 10-5 up at the end of that first half. Well, now that's a distant memory. G2 have really closed this gap. And we take a look at the scoreboards. Nexa leading in a very big way for G2. Look at the money. This is not where you want to be up against 10 either. Vitality have to take an eco and let G2 not only level up with them, but likely overtake them. Shock to the smoke and throw that towards the doors to deny the info on G2's side. They won't know how many players have crossed towards B as a result. And of course, those players who do cross can cross safely, not have to worry about Kenny hitting the shot with the AWP. I mean, that's always a factor, but less likely when he can't see. Amonex holding for the B push in a safer position. And Jax is waiting for the long play. Has a flash ready for shocks. And once they hear noise, he's going to pop that so they can go around the corner. But they don't want to waste the flash on what would be an empty long position. So they want to at least know there are enemies there before they commit. That could come back to bite them. Because if G2 is silent and they peek this corner, they could catch all three of these players blinded potentially. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Let's test your theory. Jax might just get a headshot though. That's the other side. They trade. That's a good good combo there. G2 have the numbers. Even though they lose a man, they, they pick up the pieces. And the fact that they give no information that way of vitality, if even one footstep was made, if one pin was pulled on a grenade, shocks would have flashed from around the corner, and that could have been awful for G2. So little do they know it, but they barely dodged death. Cool shot from Apex there as he backs away. Doesn't quite matter now, though, does it? They still have a, such a tight race for this series. And, and rightfully so, it being that elimination game. This is an important game for both of these teams to carry on in this Road to Rio bracket. Perhaps you've never heard of the Road to Rio. Well, we could tell you about it. And I guess maybe I, maybe I will a little bit. We're on our way to a major. Now, there has been a bit of a detour. And the major is in Rio. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Eleven to eleven. How has it stayed so close over so many maps? It, it's it's wild, isn't it? And you know, like that's there's so much on the line here. You know, like the, neither team wants to have this be their exit, and and then you add in the fact that it's also, you know, like vying for that top spot in the uh, in the French region. There's a lot riding on this game, and that's why it feels like every one of these guys is giving 110% until the very, very end. Maybe 111%, Harry. Maybe even that. I mean, once you go past 100, where does it stop? G2 tying this one up at 11 to 11 on their T side. Trying to ease back into this catwalk play. The double orps out for Vitality. Masuta's got one inside of B. Zaiwu's donning the other. He's at the huh? crossroads. There's a run boost over, Hunter. There's no one there, but that's a nice way to deal with that frequently used orp drop down spot. He's just going to commit. In they go. Zaiwu, he's got the orp here. Good grenade, does a bit of damage, and Zaiwu's going to peel off in the corner. Another Ooh. smoker elevator, I like that. It denies Zaiwu the vision on the long side and lets him cross to plant. G2 can fall back into a cat post plant as long as they're not being flanked, and Amanek is making sure of that right now. Late rotate off of B. Vitality are going to give this a go. They have to. Shox is coming up quick from the ramp, and with a flashbang, he's going to get into the site with Apex, but no one's giving fights away. There's one. Apex spraying, but he can't convert. Nexa trades, and now it's down to the two AWPs that have to go, that have to commit. Zywoo with one. This is doable. He's got a rifle now. Low HP in the site for Nexa. Zywoo can't find him, and that's a smoke headshot for Nexa to close out the round. Four kills from the in-game leader of G2. He is looking mm. like a legend. Of course he is. He's 24 and 11 right now. The cat up cat here for G2. Exactly. And so now they sit in the lead. This is such a wild timeline. G2 back in the swing of things. They even find a pick down through mid in this round. It's only a partial investment. So not the end of the world for Team Vitality, but they would have loved to have found some damage here. And that now looks to not be the case. Zaiwu still a threat at the A bomb site, allowed to reposition. 
Apex dueling mid with the Deagle. I don't know if that's a fight he's expecting to win or just <laughs> kind of trying to chance it. Him getting spotted in mid and uh, that's calm. Jax just immediately goes, oh, well, if he's mid, Zaiwoo's long. That means B's open and Zaiwoo is trapped. They make him dance before they finish him off. And G2 now 13 on the board. Investment coming in for Vitality, but this could be the last one if they don't manage to turn it around here and now. Exactly. G2 on the pistol on this, T, uh, on this T side. Vitality, they won the force by in the second round. That was the first force in the second round that we've seen succeed in this entire series. Since that force, Vitality haven't won a round. Seven in a row for G2. Unstoppable right now. There's got to be a solution. There's got to be an answer. Will it be the double orb? It's now swapped hands into Mizuta's towards that B bomb site. He's got Apex here as well. Zaiwu, of course, watching Catwalk. G2 in the middle area. They're going to take Cat again. They can drop into a mid to B like usual. They're actually going to do it straight away. No cat fake needed, but they, they could be flanked as a result. Jax has jumped over the shots from the car side. Rob BK, a lot of damage, and he does kill Kenny S. That's the AWP out of the picture, but G2 is still going to commit from the B side. Amanek with the entry to the smoke, and he's doubled it up, killing the AWP at the back of B. Somehow, some way, this is still winnable, but it's all on Hunter in mid. Oh, Zaiwu is checking it. Hunter does find that frag. RPK down in CT, and Shox has rotated through the tunnels. Hunter's going to smoke off his approach, and that allows him to get this bomb down. How on earth is he going to try and navigate this 1v2? That's going to plant it. I'm going to go over to the window. Smoke's still here, and he's looking to use it to his advantage. Ooh, they've spotted him, they've yeah. seen him, and now they've got him trapped. Hunter and backed into a corner and made to fight for his life. RPK. Able to secure it. 12 on the board now for Vitality. Double AWP picked up. And a 12th on the board. This game looking like it might follow in the footsteps of the other oh, two maps yeah. in that it's promising to go the distance and we wouldn't have it any other oh, way. Don't tease us, guys. Don't tease. If you're going to give us 30, give us more. Give us OT because we don't want to come here for 90 rounds and 90 rounds only. Who do you think we are? Vitality yeah. and G2 going the damn distance. I want the whole shebang. Double Kenny, orp. back in hand with the AWP. And yeah, you're bang on, Hugo. He does have that double AWP to go up against on the other side of things, trying to catch players crossing. Also, being the guardian angel of his teammates that run the gauntlet down through suicide into mid. And now Zai Wu oh. on the angle, oh, no. primed, ready and waiting. Zai Wu in with a double. Oh! And a third, Zaiwu. Can he get any more? Tags Kenny through the doors, goes back in. And oh, Kenny's playing with fire. And when you play with fire, sometimes you get burned. Zaiwu. Still here, still a threat. And delivering in a very big way to try and put 13 on the board for Vitality. Kenny and Amanek, the only two stragglers that remain. On this G2 squad, they're going to try and get down the catwalk. Amanek does drop into CT, closing the distance now. Ooh. And RPK gets caught trying to line up utility. This A site belongs to G2, but through the smoke, Amanek was Ooh. tagged, and that allows Apex to come in, looking to save the day. Kenny in a 1v4. Oh, now 1v3. Flash is good, Kenny's blind, and that allows Shox at long to find him. Defuse comes in, 13 on the board for Team Vitality, yeah. and they've tied it up again. And if you're not getting enough Counter-Strike right now, don't you worry. This phase of Strahl's game was set to start two minutes ago, but it would appear as though we are on schedule for the most part. And being that this is a great appetizer for you, albeit playoff game, big Big implications on the line here. Vitaly, they are not going to give up without a fight. Zaiwu is not going to be giving up without a big fight. We we asked Nexter in the pregame interview for his French ranking for his one, two, and three between G2, Vitality, and Heretics. He said he couldn't answer that question. He said that, that that wasn't clear. Maybe we figure it out today. I don't think we are because G2 taken to over 90 rounds in a best of three series, beating Heretics last night. Well, they're taking on Vitality as well and having the exact same situation. These guys are so close right now. French CS is back, baby. And better than ever before. We'll see what G2 can do in this round. Where is this game going? It is on a knife's edge. Don't call me baby dude. You're a big dude. Not a baby dude, Trace. It's okay. 
Not exactly where we were going with that one, but that one's fine. Sometimes a hit and a miss. Yeah. Not for people like Zaiwu in the server right now. Mizuta even donning an AWP for himself. Does have that double op set up. Now, you'll note how low Apex is. Zaiwu, a pretty well-rounded player, so he's going to have an AK here. You want to try their luck at A again. Treat them well thus far. It's G2 on the hunt for the bomb plant. Shocks in tow, just waiting at Goose. No one knew, no one was any wiser. So Hunter showed up on the scene. Yeah, Jax drops CT first, and he actually beats the orb. He 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 gets ahead of Zaiwu, who doesn't know he's in CT. Apex has made a noise, but he's still going to get away with the kill. This is, again, going back and forth and back again. Apex in a one-on-two. He can win this round, but he's being loud about it, and they picked up the bomb. They're going to bail. This is a great call for G2, escaping the site. Uh... Going back to B, just enough time for it. No way for Apex to stop this. He can get there ahead, but yeah, the cutoff is there. Nexa waiting in middle. He came late from long, and he's there to shut down the round. 14 for G2 first, and the money for Vitality. Well, that's going to be worth the discussion. A quick pause coming through before this round. You can see three of them can buy, two of them Ooh, cannot. So yeah. how do you want to do this one? This is a really horrible spot to be in. And that's the thing, you know at the end of this series, it's going to be a real celebration for the team that wins. But also, there's heartbreak on either side here, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, these have been three long back and forth maps where everyone has given it their all. And sadly, there's only room for one of these two teams to continue on this road to Rio. Now, back on Vertigo, when things were looking like Vitality were down and out, there was a man that we could rely on. There was a man who was finding openers and looking crisp, and that man was Zaiwu. Once again, here on Dust, he's answered the call. He's been stepping up. Is he ready to relive those glory days now? As we need him more than ever for the Vitality side. They've gone for the investment. They've tried to bring the heat here and now. This is a gamble. This is high risk, high reward. They didn't want to give up matched and series point. So they bought everything they can into this one to try and get it done in regulation. It's a worthy investment, but the result will speak for itself here. If Vitality lose this round, broken against 15, likely lost in the series, likely a done deal before they even hit round 30. So everything is banking on Vitality getting at least value out of this. At a bare minimum, like saves, worst case scenario. Well, worst case scenario is they lose a round with nothing, but you know, a bare minimum a save, hopefully a round. We'll see which one they can find. It's RPK pushed close on long. Now flashes should be available, but this is a wide off angle they might not be expecting as they get into the long doors. They're gonna peel in. PK lines him up, he gets some damage, he tags Jackson, sees the bomb. That's information. And with a double B setup for Vitality, they're gonna rotate very quickly. They even push dark. They know this is ending on A, and they have to be prepared. Yeah, Zaiwu, a lot of this gonna fall under him. A missed Ooh. shot, shocks trying to help oh, out. And no. oh, Zaiwu missing again. The third time is a charm for Zaiwu. The AWP of Kenny S rings out at long side, and Zaiwu's dodging it, ducking, weaving in the bomb site. Masuta has saved his life. And now just Kenny S. Zaiwu swings wide. Wow. Vitality reach 14. Even after Zaiwu misses those shots, and it takes him a minute to recompose, he jiggles long, he baits the orb shot from Kenny S and s survives. And that is crucial, not only giving him the information as to where that AWP is, but just surviving on its own. He didn't know where Kenny was. Kenny had his dr uh, had his number. He had the drop on Zaiwu, and Zaiwu just jiggles to force a fight. And, and how many shots was Zaiwu able to get off on the catwalk right there before, you know, he, even landing the shot that he needs, Albeit, all that's doing is sounding the alarm. Hey, I'm Zaiwu, or hey, I'm an awp -er, and I'm right here for the taking. Of course, this goes 14-14. Them two maps previous to this, 16-14 apiece, and this is only a fitting end to this series. Hey, that's now, assuming it's an end trace. Exactly. Now, the real end here, the real end goal is to win the series. Move forward in this playoff bracket. And you're going to be faced up against the loser of Astralis Phase, which is on track to start right after this one, immediately following this series. So either Vitality or G2 are out. The winner's going to get that, that awesome prize getting to play Astralis or Phase. So either way, Woo. it doesn't get much easier for you going forward. I mean, both teams have earned the spot at this point, but only one can continue. Oh, man, you said this was balancing on a knife's edge. Well, now that is just more true than ever. Ever. Neither team has money. Neither team. And so 
this round could decide a hell of a lot. Apex waiting near the mouth of the tunnel. Very, very close with this SMG. And there are flashes available from Masuta to try and kickstart this push. Being so far forward as well. This is definitely a read because G2, they've been very, very keen to go for these cat plays. So they want to have tunnels under their control if they can early on. Amanek. Ooh, probably a good thing he didn't yeah. drop that smoke because this SMG is going to go running in the moment he is. This man's utility, maybe going to look for the kill. And there's the smoke going on in. Ooh. There's the peak from Apex. Kind of underwhelming. And Nades, Stella though. This is all a ruse. Brought down very low and he's going to keep both players at B. Now the real brunt of this push is coming in at Catwalk. Zai Wu to try and hold the line. Strikes the first man from the tally. Goes back in for a second, but it doesn't connect. And the A site has fallen. It does belong to G2, despite being a man down. <gasps> oh. Shock's doing damage to Hunter as he puts in those numbers, but no kill found yet. It's Nexa, next to ring out with this AK. A four on four, even odds in the retake, and the trades are thick and fast, but ultimately, it's G2 to pick it up. Match and series point mm. for G2. Somehow, someway, it ends in the blink of an eye, and there's no money for Team Vitality. They've got nothing left. They're gonna be force buying whatever they can but there's not even a rifle present in this round, if not for like a Famous at the very, very best. Oh dear, this spy is not what you want. This is it. You know, in, in, in series point right here, we're looking at the possibility of another 16-14, or we're looking at overtime. Oh dear, and RPK, he wants a ladder, he wants bonus rounds, he wants every single one he can get. Especially considering the weapon, uh, weaponry here for Vitality, not a rifle other than that Famas. G2 is spread out. That bomb outside a long man up cat and even tunnels being left. This won't end in a B play. Hunter's up cat. He's got a kill. Zaiwu is dead. G2 are going to double down uh -oh. into this A site, but they don't know RPK's here. RPK could do it all, and this is it. Vitality three on three. They worked so hard to get us to this third map. You think about Vertigo. They had to come back there. Well, now they've got to do it again. Oh, Ooh. Kenny with a blinder. See you later, RPK, RPK, sit down. As now it shocks Amasuta to try and keep the dream alive. The A site belongs to G2 once again. Shocks flash through the smoke. They've got his name. They've got his number. And now it's just Masuta, 1v3. The new boy on the block for Vitality left to try and do it all in an impossible clutch. It's